Welcome back to Street Beat. It's me, your host, Tony B. Joining us right now, Joe and John Bergevin. Kind of recap for everybody. Edith Childs, uh, fired up, ready to go, how that all came together. Yeah, so she's a city councilwoman from South Carolina. Uh, she's from Greenwood. And uh, he had been on the campaign trail, but he had to go see 40 people in a small town in South Carolina. And so it's a rainy morning, and he goes and he walks into this little place, and there's a bunch of people there, and he starts to do his thing and stuff like that. And uh, Miss Edith Childs, she's also known as the lady in the hat or the lady in the purple hat, uh, starts this chant. Uh, fired up, ready to go. Fired up, ready to go. And it actually it goes back to the civil rights uh, era. They used to use it in their marches and things like that. And he said, you know, after she started saying that, I started feeling fired up. <laughs> and I, I started feeling pretty excited. And I wasn't tired anymore. And I was completely re-energized and totally excited. And, uh, and as a result of that, he retells this story. And then he invites her into his circle and actually presents her at other speeches that he gives. And she actually becomes sort of part of his, part of his uh, uh, story and, and, and road show a little bit as well. My guest again, Joe and John Bergevin. Uh, we're kind of recapping uh, one year later, and we're not going to get into the whole politics of everything right now about what's going on one year later, but we're just taking a look at one year after what was a historic inauguration, no matter where you sit, it was a historic inauguration. And we have a couple guys. I, I don't want to say if you're from Seattle, if you're from a Sur Where are you guys from? Kirkland. 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 <laughs> All right, we want to give props to Kirkland. All right. <laughs> and uh, ended up uh, creating seven songs for America and one for the world, fired up, ready to go, basically heard around the world. Uh, it, it, kind of the uh, incentive song for Barack Obama's campaign, written by a couple of guys right here from the Pacific Northwest, uh, Kirkland, to be more specific. How did this impact the two of you? I mean, you couldn't have anticipated something like this happen, although, uh, Joe, Joe, you said that you felt inspired to do something. Yeah, I was... You know, I was taking that message from the first song here, the fired up, ready to go. The one voice can can change a world, and that's what Brock talked about on the road with that fired up uh, Edith Child story. So, uh, if we could do one, then it seems like uh, that the other one. Now that we're fired up, what do we need to do? You know, was the next point. We're, you know, let's rise up. So that was the second song, and and you know, it's we got some work to do today. Rise up. And, and that, if you listen to the lyrics, is where that one's headed, you know. So let's, let's you know, work harder than we have been to make the change happen that needs to happen. And then, it, you know, any, any good thing seems to come in, in uh, stages. You have to work through one stage to get to the next to the next. And then we, driving home from recording Rise Up, John and I started to talk about, you know, it's really at this moment that, that this, like, prayer for, for, you know, just let us be, let us be strong enough. Let us be uh, the, the mother at night. Let us be the blanket that keeps us warm. And, and we worked that song together on a drive home from, from recording. And so now it's three songs. And then we started asking ourselves, where is this going to end? <laughs> and we said, you know what? Any good album has to have at least seven songs. And that was actually the point when we decided to turn it into yeah. an album. And yeah. I think the Key Arena event was pivotal for yeah. us in that as well. It's no small task to put a crew of probably 35 people together on multiple occasions to produce an album of this kind of nature, especially when you're dealing with a rock star and, and uh, his schedule and those sorts of things, and a hugely popular gospel choir leader from Seattle. So, The other thing that surprised us later is right before we named it, we, we, we Googled seven songs, and the only thing we could come up with was uh, there was a, uh, a work for harpsichord done in about 1800 by a guy named Francis Hopkinson for his friend George Washington, the first president. <laughs> we named it before knowing that. Yeah. Seven songs for America and one for the world. And it just happened to be the first black president now. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. My guest again, Joe and John Bergevin. Now, you also uh, had the opportunity to uh, go down to the inauguration. It resulted in a, a trip down to the inauguration, right? Absolutely. John did. Yeah, and we went to the convention as well, mm -hmm. released the album down there. Uh, let's talk about that for yeah. a minute, one year later, about the, the energy uh, of, of being at the inauguration and the vibe and the feeling and, and, and what was going on. I, I just, because I, I went, 
found it to be an, an amazing energy. What was your trip like? Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. Uh, the, the, the people there, uh, the, the feeling that this is a super historic and exciting uh, time for this country, uh, the positive uh, feelings that you're getting from people and the interactions and people from all over. That, that city was absolutely packed to the T. I mean, it was, it was as full as it could possibly be. And when you say all over, we're talking all over the world. People all over all the world. Over the world. Absolutely. There was people from all countries that had actually made the trip out there. And uh, it's hard to describe that feeling that it gives you in your heart that, that you feel so fortunate to be part of such a great country and surrounded by so many great people and uh, uh, had been given the, the talent and the goodwill to be sent here um, uh, as part of this uh, historical process. Now, you, you guys have uh, other projects that you're working on as well? Yep. Um, we have been uh, developing a song for a new, um, it's a pilot at this point, television show, for the Hard Rock uh, restaurants. And uh, it's, it's a reality show about each one of them, uh, produced by a friend of mine here locally in Kirkland. Uh, and, and so, th you know, it's just, it's cool the community we're starting to build uh, from the, uh, you know, this moment. I, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, a couple of things, big pieces of the story that, that, that have not been touched on as long as we're telling the story. Uh, one is that the campaign actually used our song and our material in a product that they shipped called The Road to Change, which helped on BarackObama.com, which actually helped raise money for uh, his campaign. We also uh, helped, uh, we, we, we performed at a Women for Obama dinner that had 500 women at it and helped raise $109,000. After we got back from Denver, after just releasing our album, these producers for the documentary called Barack Obama, The Man and His Journey contacted us and they had this, they, 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 they were just like full, like we can't believe the music here, this is unbelievable. And so this is kind of what we envisioned. I came up with a concept of taking the national anthem, the black national anthem, which is called Lift Every Voice and Sing, and America the Beautiful, along with some amazing lyrics and music that Joe has, has put together for this and grafting them all into a monumental piece of music. Wow. You can see it, so it on YouTube. It's, it's, it's I Am an American. I Am an American, and, and, and it shipped worldwide with those guys. And so another 10-day project, literally from concept to it's time to and we performed an amazing piece of music with, with, uh, with our dear friend Holly Phillips on lead vocals. And she did an amazing job. The choir did an amazing job. And it's called I Am an American. And that became part of uh, this, this shipping product. And it was one of the most, it was the pinnacle of, of uh, I put it right up there with marriage and childbirth as far as emotions. So those are the kinds of things that we like to do. and and. To me, that was another key part of the story yeah. I wanted to touch on, on just how amazing it was, how, how well received it was. Seven songs for America and one for the world. Where can folks pick it up? They can pick it up off of Bird Driven Brothers Music, iTunes, uh, CD Baby. There's, uh, those are pretty much the key areas that you can, that you can get it from. This is uh, just a, a great story. And, and thank the both of you for taking the time to come back here uh, on the couple days after the anniversary uh, of the inauguration but n n nonetheless we're, we're, we're right in there in that same time frame again my guest Joe and John Bergevin uh, the album is seven songs for America and one for the world congratulations for you guys and good luck thank you very much Tony thanks a lot pleasure Tony. being here you're listening to Street Beat. It's me, your host, Tony B. Our guest joining us this morning, the Bergevin Brothers. You've heard their story, a, a pretty remarkable story. Uh, we'll be back a little bit later with our very special guest joining us on the program, Najee, right after this.